I had a great idea and clearly you also thought it was a great idea because I posted a question on my YouTube channel asking whether or not I should make this video and I got a resounding yes from basically everyone. There are a few downers who said no and I don't know why, but the idea is this. There is an ongoing debate as to what is the best way to promote your print on demand design. Is it Facebook? Is it influencer marketing? Is it just free methods like YouTube, blogs, whatever it is. Well, in this video, I wanted to do a real life case study for you where I am going to choose one of my designs that I made a while ago because I don't want to have to go through the whole, I don't want to have to go through the whole thing of, of creating a whole new design and everything when I've researched it a while ago. So I'm going to use one of my designs, okay? And I'm going to find relevant channels on Instagram, relevant influence on Instagram, and I'm going to message them and take you along that journey of actually speaking to them and getting them to do a promoted post for me. And I'm actually gonna pay them and do the promoted post at the end of the day. And we're gonna see if we get any sales from it. We're gonna see how much it costs. We're gonna see if it was worth it. And we're gonna see the procedures to actually go about doing this. And this should hopefully help with the debate of what's the best way to run a campaign or, or like a, a marketing campaign for your design, your t-shirt. Before we start, I just want to say thank you very much for coming and watching this video. My name is Shimmy Morris. If you are new here, then definitely hit that subscribe button. I bring out new videos about print on demand, Amazon FBA, internet marketing, affiliate marketing, making money online. And I know you're gonna absolutely love this channel. And if you are a returning viewer, well, thank you so much for coming back and watching more. And if you leave comments, I really appreciate, I really appreciate everyone who views my channel. It means so much to me. But again, if you are new here, then hit that subscribe button and let's get on with this video. Okay, well, here's the shirt. I'm gonna show you the shirt. I just wanna tell you, I launched this shirt four years ago. I ran a rubbish, rubbish Facebook ad and got zero sales. So this is actually quite a good test because if I'm doing this with uh, Instagram influencer, back then four years ago, you didn't really use Instagram influencers, but if I'm doing this with an Instagram influencer, we can see what difference that actually makes because as I said, four years ago, it got zero sales. Let's see if we get any sales now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to relaunch it because, well, it ended a long, long time ago. Right, by relaunching, you're starting a three-day cycle. This means the order will be sent to print every three days. Brilliant, relaunch. Let's see if it will work. It might not work. And I'm gonna to explain to you the T-shirt and how it came about. Uh, you might not understand it. Okay, basically this is a T-shirt aimed at guitarists. I was very into guitar, I still am very into guitar, and it made me think potentially there is something in this niche, right? So I started doing a whole bunch of research, Teespring, there we go. I started doing a whole bunch of research into this niche and thinking of cool ways to, you know, sell a t-shirt. And we're all very aware of the phrase effort, right? Obviously with the actual swear word. And I was thinking, you could target guitarists, especially ones who are more into rock, more into that kind of lifestyle that would probably wear something like this. So this t-shirt, to quickly explain to you, that is an F chord on the left-hand side, and that is the word it on the right-hand side, and together it spells, or it says F it, right? And then you can also have, if this works, right? Back then it didn't work, so I left it, but if it would have worked, I would have done F that, and F this, and if you right a whole bunch of different ones and you can see i've got my description here this is very very old um i doubt that's even a link anymore because it's so old um what's this what's this go to this probably goes to nothing um and i can't be bothered waiting anymore so let's just go back okay so i'm on the editing page now because i actually want to edit it and you can actually see the description it's so old it's it's just like coding here. So first, I just wanna get rid of this link, but I'm gonna get rid of this entire description, rewrite the description, but the first thing to do, now that I've launched it, I've got the t-shirt ready, I now need to go over to Instagram on my phone, and I'm gonna bring you along for that journey as well, and we need to find some pages that could potentially promote our t-shirt, but you have to know we're not going to design the post until we find the Instagram page, because we want to 
create a post that blends in and works with someone's Instagram page. So when, when someone actually says to me, yes, I'll, I'll promote your listing for however much money, we need to send them a post that matches their page and the chance of getting sales will be a lot higher. How much we're we looking to pay? Well, that's a good question, I hear you ask. Uh, we're looking to pay about 20 to $40 on this post. So we're not looking for pages in the millions, we're looking for pages in tens to hundreds of thousands. Okay, so let's let's just head right over to my phone and get that bit done. Okay, so we wanna start by going over to Instagram. I'm gonna be using my business account for this, not my personal account. And let's search for guitarists or guitar. You can see I've, I have done that already, um, but let's just search guitar and see what comes up. Okay, so you can see a whole bunch of things come up here. I'm going to record my screen here for you as well, just so we can have a, a mixture of different things going on. But, okay, so let's have a look. We've got Guitars Daily, 485,000. We can try and message them, but probably unlikely. Guitar Magazine, more likely. We can message Guitar Player, 74,000. That, that seems pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to message them and say, Hey. I have a really cool guitar related t-shirt and I would like to know how much you charge Calgary, what the heck, how much you charge for a sponsored post. Thanks. Thanks so much. Regards. Shimmy. Right. Let's copy and paste this. Very simple. Hey, I have a really cool guitar related t-shirt and I would like to know how much you charge for a sponsored post. Send that there. Let's go to the next guy, Guitars Daily. Let's just find out how much a page that has 485,000 people. How much they charge? Okay, let's go to Guitar Mag, 16,000. We can see how much a very, very small page charges. Not that 60,000 is a very small page, but it's pretty small. Right, we're gonna leave that there. Okay, I have now messaged eight. Did I just say eight? No, that's a lie. I've now messaged four people. It looks like, let me just double check that because I think that's right. One, two, three, four, five. So I've now messaged five people and ask them how much they'll charge to a promoted post for my guitar t-shirt. I will wait for them to get back in touch with me and then I will continue with this video. And once I've done that, the next steps is to negotiate the price with them. And then as well as that, we actually have to go to Canva or Photoshop or wherever we're going to go and create the post. And we're probably going to use the website Placeit where we can create a mock-up of someone actually wearing the t-shirt. And I'm actually gonna try and find like a guitarist or someone holding a guitar wearing the t-shirt because I feel like that will fit most with all of these pages. So stay tuned, I will be back once they have responded to me and we will see what happens. Okay, so there's been some pretty cool developments. I have got replies back on Instagram. I'm going to, I'm going to show you these replies and we are going to get started. So. Um, basically, I have been messaging tons of Instagram influencers, just ask them how much it will cost and if they can advertise my t-shirt. And I messaged a whole bunch of people, I didn't get any responses, so off camera I messaged a whole bunch more people and let's go through and actually have a look at them. So, the first guy, okay, this is the conversation that I had with the first guy, as you can see here. Um, I'm recording my screen now, so brilliant. I said, how are you? How are you doing? I'm looking for an influencer and I would like to know how much you charge for a sponsored post. He said, hi, do you have a product to promote? I said, yes, it's a t-shirt. I haven't designed the post yet as I wanted to fit it in with your uh, feed, right, with the influence feed. So, okay, I get it. He's like, he charges $20 for the product promotion, $10 for a story and a swipe up and $5 for putting your link on his website profile. It will be $35, okay, he said. But if you want the whole thing, he'll do it for $30. This is a good test. I'm testing to see if this is gonna work for you guys, for YouTube, for everyone in the world. So I thought, I'll just do the whole thing, $30, why not? So I was like, that works for me, we can try that. I was like, when will you be able to post this? He goes, well, I have two promotions, one today, one tomorrow, what about Tuesday? I was like, Tuesday works perfectly. And I said, do you think a photo or a three to five second video would work better? And he said, if you have good mock-up photos, if you have a good mock-up, photo works good, but if you're interested, we can do a carousel post and use photo and video together. I was like, hmm. 
photo video together. Yes. So I said, does carousel cost extra? Does it cost extra? Well, he goes, nope. Okay, so let send me. Okay, so send me my you my no. English. He says no, it doesn't cost extra. So let me send you my PayPal. Just remember, thirty US dollars. That's his PayPal. Send me a screenshot. I was like, all right, we'll do that. How many photos, video clips should I post for the? Should I make for the carousel? He goes, Instagram lets us do ten, but three to four would be cool because we don't want people to lose interest. And he makes a good point. So thank you. Excellent idea. And then I was like, you're right, okay, I'll get started on the mock-up and I'll send the money later today. He goes, okay, good luck, bam. So let's have a look at his feed because we are going to be using him seeing as he'll be able to post it on Tuesday and this guy was going to be able to post it in a while. Don't have time. All right, so guitar is life. Let's have a look at his feed. Well, firstly, his feed is actually much better than the other guy's feed. Not only does he have 52.8 thousand followers, but he's also got that meme channel and for my t-shirt, which is the effort t-shirt the funny t-shirt it will actually go so much better with his kind of channel but the thing is his kind of channel so you can see this is clearly a promotional one over there um he doesn't really have a theme i guess his theme is vi videos is very popular for videos and he's always got like a me it's a meme videos basically so he's got the words on the top and then and then some sort of video so and he's got words pentonic scale guitarist guitar solo okay so He's always got my bandmates, me having a four minute solo, <laughs> slash very funny. Um, so that's the kind of page that he has. So we want to create a post similar. So what we are going to start with is actually generating some mockups and we want to generate video mockups and we want to generate uh, photo mockups. Okay, so let's go over to placeit.net. I might have to recreate the design because I don't know where it is originally. But basically what we want to do is we want to create a video mock-up, like a couple of second clips. Let's see how long some of these are. So this is literally one, two, three, four, five, 15 seconds. All right, 15 seconds. And I reckon this one would also be 15 seconds. Let's have a look. That's about eight seconds. It's a really funny video. Okay, fine. So this is easy. So we are going to we're going to go to here now. I'm going to log in. I think I still have an account. I don't remember. I don't remember if I still pay. I think I may have cancelled it. But clearly, it works. Oh, it doesn't work. I don't have an unlimited subscription. Okay, screw that. I don't want unlimited apparel videos. That's what we want. Okay. Oh, my computer does this thing. I think it's got a virus. Zoom in a bit there. Apparel videos, okay. Upload your image there. Um, oh, where's the video? Oh, okay, this, this, these are not very relevant videos. So let me see if I can mock-ups. Let's open this in a new tab. We need three-ish mock-ups, okay. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Search guitar. Uh, that's the one that's on his page already. That's brilliant. That's so funny. Okay, so I don't want to do that one then if it's on his page. Um, I want to do... That looks like a good one. Open that in a new tab. Um, that's a wicked one. But it's not the right kind of t-shirt though, so I wouldn't do that one. And then, no, you know what, we'll use those two. Okay, we'll just use those two. So let's upload the image, effort, and then put it up there. And then we'll make the background red. It looks too big though in my mind. It's too big on the thing, isn't it? Upload image, effort two, it should be a bit smaller now. Wonderful. Yes, okay. Okay, let's free download that. Free download, and then let's do that again on this guy. Girl, sorry. Okay, upload image, effort two. Move it over here, crop it. Yes, okay, make it red. Yes. I like that. We have our three mock-ups. 
Wonderful. Okay, I'm going to send it off to the person, see what they think, and I'm going to pay them. And then come Tuesday, when they make the post, I will check my sales and see if there's anything sales. Honestly, I don't know if I have faith in this. I don't know if it's going to work. This is all a test, a test which I decided to do for you guys just to see if influence marketing still works in 2020. And look, to be honest, if this doesn't necessarily get many sales, it doesn't mean influence marketing doesn't work. It just kind of means my t-shirt didn't work or that that guy's page didn't work. There's a lot of variables that you have got to consider, but this is just, I wanted to make this test and put it out there for you so you can kind of see someone else spending their money seeing if influence marketing work for them and then you can make a decision whether or not you want to give influence marketing a, a try so i'm going to see you at the next bit when i actually pay this person and send them the mock-ups okay so i just wanted to give you an update of where i'm up to i have created the three photos i was going to create a video but i decided not to do that just because it didn't seem relevant it didn't fit in with the brand and I've just received another message from another Instagram influencer uh, telling me their prices. So I want to show you these here. So you can see I've got this one here. Meme, memes Guitar messaged me back saying, Hello, thanks for your interest. Here's our offer, 24-hour story plus post plus swipe up, $9 plus $3 extra. If you want. Okay, so I said, yeah, I like it with the link. Bam. So I've got that one going. I've got this one going. I've sent them the... No, I haven't sent them yet, though. I've asked them how to send the photos. This guy, I don't think I'm going to do because I don't want to wait 10 days. And the photos look like this. There's this one, right? There's this one. I thought that, st that stood out. And there's this one, right? Very simple photos. And I will send them to these people. And I guess we'll see what happens because I have no idea. All I know is I don't want to spend a crazy amount of money. I want to try and keep it under $50. So if I do the $9 plus $3, which is what? $12 plus the $30 that means I'm only spending $42 that is pretty good I'm gonna see if that gets me anything we'll find out in the next couple of days nice and early start today I've checked my Instagram messages just to see if anyone's responded to me what the update is and I've actually got a few responses from the same people but the conversations continued so let's just have a look at how that's gone so Last night, um, they, they told me how to send them, and then I sent them the three pictures. So this one, which stands out quite nicely, this one, which blends in with their, their feed, and this one, which blends in with their feed as well. I wanted a man and a woman, all right? And then I said, these are the three photos. Are they okay? Should I send the payment now? So I'm waiting for him to respond. He said that he would be able to post them on Tuesday, so hopefully that actually happened. And then the other person, Memes Guitar, I'm a bit unsure about them because... They said, here's the, here's the payment, please send us the photo before payment. And I was like, all right, sure, does the carousel work? They're like, no, but it's one story. It's just one story, you can add more if you want. And she says, she has spots this week. I'm like, all right, we'll start with the story. And then she goes, she gets an average of a thousand views in an hour. So that's not so bad. She's like, what's the ad? It's like, it's for a t-shirt, can I see it? So I sent her the t-shirt and I was like, this is the design. Obviously I'll make it better for your story. So I'm waiting for her to actually respond because I feel like she's going to be like, no, I don't need to post this t-shirt. I don't know why, but we're going to find out. And as soon as we do, we're going to get these ads started and actually find out if we make any money from it. Now I just want to update you as well with the t-shirt page. I actually fixed the description. It's not a very good description. I need to make it a bit better, but I got rid of all the coding and you know the HTML that was there. And now it's then it's not expensive it's quite cheap so we'll see we will uh we'll see what happens i'll keep you updated i've now finalized things and it's time to actually pay so this is who i'm paying i'll probably blur this out because you, you probably doesn't want everyone to see who his email is but simple 30 dollars. i'm going to click continue and i'm going to pay and once I've done that, he said he'll make the post tomorrow, which is Tuesday. And then I've got two other people making a post for me as well. And then once it's all done, I'll be able to see the results of this. And see if it's worth it. Just another update for you. All these updates are coming from my iPhone just because it's easy to film like this. But I've spoken to Guitar Is Life and I've said to him, what time do you think the post will go live? He's like in about half an hour. And he says he's just preparing things. Awesome. So over the next you know, day or two, we're going to assess how it, well it's done. I've got my other influencer that's going to be posting from tomorrow. So hopefully we'll see what's up. I mean, 
they might not get any sales, they might get sales. Either way, I'm posting this video because I want to give you a realistic view of it. If I don't get any sales, I'm not going to not post it because it doesn't look good. In fact, if anything, it does look good because it shows you what's what's likely and what's realistic. Good morning. It's now the next day and I thought I would give you an update as to what's going on. It's not very good, but let me show you. So firstly, guitar is live, message me back saying done. And this guy, meme is a guitar. Yes, I messaged myself. Meme's guitar, he said he's posting his today. But anyway, so guitar is live, I saw his posts. I don't know why I let him design the posts. They were rubbish. Um, the story here, this is the story up on the screen, and um, I think you can understand where I'm going with this, and then this is the post as well. I I'm not quite sure why I let them do it. I mean, he asked me, I, I gave him the posts for the post, so the post is okay, I don't mind the post, that blends in nicely with his page, but the story, I d he's like, oh yeah, we'll do the story, but I didn't realise he was just going to use the post. There's no, there's no, like, proper calls to actions except swiping up. People who are swiping up don't even know what they're swiping up for. There's no like, this is a t-shirt you can buy. So that's really bad. And when I look at the analytics, yes, there are no sales, which isn't a surprise. And then Instagram, we've got 18 plus six. So we've got 24 people have come from his swipe up, which that's just rubbish. And was that worth $30? No, it was not worth $30. So what have I learned from, from that experience with that influencer? Well, one, some influencers are just pure crap. Two, if you're paying for a story, design it yourself. And if they don't let you design it yourself, then forget them. And point three, don't spend money on an influencer unless they are able to prove to you that they get actual results from their page. I genuinely think he bought half the likes because if we go to his page and let me show you, I genuinely think he bought the likes because look, it has one comment, right? One comment, right? And I know you can't see the likes here, but on my other account, I can see the likes. And there's about, well, it will keep scrolling. And there's like 400 and something, maybe 500 likes. Now, I've been on Instagram for quite a few years. And I know for a fact, if you've got four or 500 likes and one comment, those likes are all fake. So, yeah, that was a waste of money. Let's see how the other guy does, and uh, then we will be able to finish this video, do a roundup, and see if it was worth it, or if it was a giant waste of money. And to be honest, at the end of the day, I don't mind if I wasted the money because I learned something. I'm learning something in the process of doing influence marketing on Instagram, and if or when I do it again, I will do it better. That is the whole point of, of like making mistakes and learning from them. All right, final phone update. This is the final day. Today is Thursday. Today is the day I'm posting the video, and I wanted to give you an update of the, what's happened with the shirt. So, Memes Guitar, let's have a look at you. Memes Guitar was going to be the second post person I was going to be, uh, who's going to be posting my picture. So they said around 3 p.m. yesterday, which is 8 p.m. GMT, my time, and they said that they posted it. Am I happy with that post when they said they would create the story for me? What was I thinking? Anyways, I said, thanks. Do you think people will still get that they can buy the shirt? They're like, yes, the swipe up is very clear and the way it's presented. Um, coming from a marketer who's been selling for literally 10 years, that is rubbish, absolute rubbish. So just as a, a tip, when someone tells you, oh, we'll make the story for you, you say, no, I want to make the story. You have no idea what you're doing, but don't say that you have no idea what you're doing. Anyways, so have I got any sales? That is the question. Well, before I tell you if I've got any sales, whatever the number you see there, don't leave this video because I want to give you a verdict on the entire experiment. Tell you who was at fault. Was I at fault? Was the shirt at fault? Was the influencers at fault? Why it worked, why it didn't work, what the story is. So firstly, let's have a look. So overview, you can see a resounding ba 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 zero sales. Um, am I depressed that I've got zero sales? No, because I've learned from my mistakes. Yes, I spent $40, 
But at the end of the day, I learned from my mistakes and we're gonna, whoa, we're gonna talk about that in a minute. I just, I just zoomed in by mistake. Anyways, right, let's have a look at the analytics and see if actually anyone even came to it because we have no idea. So traffic sources, we've got Instagram, 65 views, Instagram, 90, 31 views. That is, oh, my math is terrible, 96 views from Instagram, zero orders, obviously. And then you can see the views kicked up over here. So the first post did absolutely nothing. The second person's story did a bit better, um, but they told me that they get 1,000 views per hour. So let's go straight to the verdict and and just see, and just discuss what happened here, what went wrong. Okay, let's talk about this experiment. What happened, what went wrong? Because as you probably have seen, I got zero sales from influencer marketing and that could be from various factors. That could be from the influencer, that could be from the, 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 the following the influencer gets is what I mean. It could be from the post that they shared. It could be from the shirt being rubbish. It could be from the description on the page of the shirt. And it could just be the lack of traffic. So what, what was the issue? What do I think that went wrong? And two questions, will I do it again? And did I think the experience was worth it? Or does the whole influencer marketing not work? Right. Well, let's start with this. Who's at fault? Firstly, I think, I think two people are at fault here. Firstly, the influencer, because they clearly lied about their reach, about their organic traffic. The first influencer 100% paid for likes because you don't get 500 plus likes on a post and one comment. That doesn't happen and if that does happen, you can see that they've clearly bought a bundle of 500 likes for maybe two or three dollars and they have got some generic likes, which led to that one comment. So that was a massive waste of time. And that was a more expensive one, actually. That was the $30 one. So clearly I misjudged when I found this influencer and I shouldn't have trusted them. Um, so there's that. That was a huge uh, misjudge of character. Now I'm not gonna ask for my money back or do anything like that, because again, this is all a test. It was just an experiment. But I, as someone who's been on Instagram for quite a long time and been in the social media world, I can tell when someone has bought fake likes. I mean, I bought fake likes for, for, for some of my posts, not paid posts, but just some of my posts, just to see how it works. So yeah, 100% that was fake. The next thing, the next thing, when I said to them, should I make the story? The story is the most important part because that's the swipe up that leads you to the website. When I said, should I make that? They said, no, don't worry, we'll make it. Uh, we know what to do. When they made it, they didn't exactly do anything, they just took the picture that I sent them, plonked it on the story and said swipe up. They didn't say limited edition t-shirt for sale, they didn't say uh, one time only get this t-shirt not sold in stores, they didn't, they didn't even say the t-shirt was for sale, they just had a picture of someone wearing a t-shirt and said swipe up. Like, you'll see the pose here, right? So this person had the actual t-shirt and said swipe up, so that's a bit more obvious what's for sale, whereas this person was just they just use my picture and say swipe up. So, and the person on the left who said they were gonna do it, right, literally just took the picture from Teespring, didn't even bother editing anything, kept it on the white background and just said swipe up. So on that level, the, the effort on their half, on their part, for actually creating a clickable uh, picture was not there, which is why that failed so miserably as well. And we can see it failed miserably because one person said they get a thousand views per hour on their story, yet they only brought in a hundred people. Which first is, if it's just one hour, that's a 10% 10 10 uh, 10 conversion rate, but they run it for 24 hours, so that's 24,000 views technically, right? And I got a hundred views. I don't even want to think about what conversion rate that is because that is just poor. Now. I think as well, I could be at fault. The t-shirt might not have been up to scratch. The, the description might not have been up to scratch. So yes, I could be at fault. It could just be a really crap t-shirt. I don't know. Um, but I do know for a fact that those two influencers that I picked were not good choices. I didn't do enough research into the influencers. I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't spend enough time finding the best possible influencers. So would I do it again? Well, 
I think I would do influence marketing again. I see why it would work. Would I do it again for t-shirts? I, I want to say yes, because it does have the potential to actually work. And I'm seeing that I got views, even from these really rubbishy Instagram channels. It shows that it can work and it's very, very cost effective because literally the post that got me the most views would only cost me $12, right? And getting 140 website clicks on Facebook ad is going to cost you more than $12, most likely. So in that sense, it was a pretty good experiment just to see what the potential is. Uh, so yes, I would do it again, and I would probably do it again for t-shirts, but I think what this has taught me massively is I'm going to do it again for other things, for my Amazon product, for my actual Instagram page to build that up, which by the way, if you haven't gone and started following, go to Shimmy Morris one on Instagram and just follow me, and uh, I'm, post I'm gonna start posting daily, uh, uh, business tips on that channel and I'm going to post my story on that channel every single day and I'm going to post exclusive videos that I'm not posting on YouTube there. So definitely go and follow that Instagram channel. Right, that shout out's done. Tips for moving forward. Right, tips for moving forward because I want to end this video with some positive help. Tip number one, do a lot more research into an influencer and ask for a lot more proof. Ask to see their numbers, ask to see their reach, their likes, their analytics. Two, when they say, we'll make the story for you, you say, no, you'll make the story, okay? <laughs> don't trust the influencer to make the story and because they don't have the same passion, they don't care how well it does. So you make the story, you make the post, you do the work and you just send it to them. And tip number three, well, I would say make sure your shirt is really, really good and on point before you spend that money. So potentially what you could do is you could run a page post engagement ad either on Instagram or Facebook just to see the traction, see if people are commenting and liking the shirt. And if they are, you know your shirt's got potential, then go and fork out $40, $50 on an influencer post. That is my verdict, that is my advice moving forward. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this experiment. If you want me to do more experiments like this, let me know in the comments down below. And if you have a specific experiment you want me to do, let me know in the comments down below and I will think about it because I'm always up for a new idea. Thank you for watching. I will see you on Sunday for that video.